My question today is um, regarding the um, Islamic banks uh, sometimes paying a deposit rate and they say uh, it is similar to the interest rate. We know that's not allowed and we don't do it. Mm. But sometimes they are also coming up with this thing called a sukuk. It works like a normal bond. You give them money. If the company doesn't default, the company keeps being given 4% every year. This is certified by a lot of Sharia advisors. So in this case, uh, it looks very much like a conventional bond. Is this allowed or not? As a matter of fact, Ali, you brought up a very interesting matter, which we all need, uh, need to discuss and discover together. You know, when the companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wabisa ibn Ma'bad, walked into the Messenger of Allah and he wanted to inquire about what is uh, lawful and unlawful, what is righteous and what is evil. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, al birru Righteousness and piety and similarly lawful is what you feel good about it and what you feel comfy when you're doing this kind of transaction. While al-ithm, the haram and the evil, is ma taraddada fi sadr is what you feel bad about it and you don't feel comfortable doing it. Even if there are fatwas and verdicts of some of the scholars or so-called so scholars, it doesn't matter. Um, so they say this is halal, but you don't feel good about it. Nowadays, it's coming along that a lot of people are trying to normalize all the conventional banks transactions and give them different names. So even the whole bank, they would call it an Islamic bank of whatever. What determines whether the bank is Islamic or conventional is the aqd, which is shari'atul muta'aqidain, is the contract between the two entities or more. In this case, it is the bank and the other, the investor. If you're going to take a profit, you're going to be a, a sharer in the profit. And likewise, in case of loss, you encounter a similar share of the loss because there will be an actual investment in agriculture, in electronics, in manufacturing, but there is an actual investment. But when the bank, even if it is called an Islamic bank of whatever, of Mecca, of Medina, they take your money and they lend it to somebody else with an interest rate, let's say 15%. Then they give you an interest rate of 10%. So they have made the margin of 5%. Your profit, which is not profit, rather it is usury, is thabit. It is guaranteed by the end of the quarter, you will get that much. Under any circumstances, whether there is a recession, or the economy is booming, whether they are very profitable, or if they lose the whole thing, your capital sum is fixed. And you get also a fixed income. They call it a profit on bonds. That is not a profit. That is called riba, usually. So what matters, my dear respected brother Ali and all the viewers, is the contract, not the name. As they say, actions speak louder than words. I walked in once to one of those banks in Cairo, Egypt. They opened a branch in our campus in Al-Azhar University. Big sign, it says, the bank of whatever, the Islamic, the Islamic transaction branch. So I spoke to the manager and I said, sir, you know when you have this sign which says the Department of Islamic Transaction, by that you're acknowledging that the rest of the transactions that your bank is processing is not Islamic. Because when you're trying to sell me something and you say, this is for you guys because you are shiuch, uh, you are religious people who so have an Islamic department or an Islamic segment. Inclusively, that indicates the rest is not Islamic and it's simply conventional and it is haram. While you keep day and night saying that there are some fatwas which says it's halal, halal, halal. But now, by your posting the sign, the department or the branch of Islamic transaction, you're assuring that the rest are not Islamic. So he smiled to me and he said, this is just for the sake of marketing, but by the end, 
all the money, whether your intention is to put it in an Islamic transaction or riba transaction, is deposited in the same bonds or uh, uh, sukuk, and uh, you get the same uh, profit. But to make you happy, so sometimes we give you instead of 10%, we'll make it 8%, then uh, 8.5 or 9% up and down. But you're not sharing any losses because we do not encounter any loss. We only lend money to people who borrow with guarantees and we take interest on that. It's as simple as that.